listen to that record. How much did that mean to you? Right here. Thinking about it at all? No, I mean, uh, it's my teammates that keep reminding me of it. Uh, especially in this tournament, it's just all about qualifying. But I mean, it would mean something to be the greatest goal scorer of all time, men, women, dogs, whatever. I mean, of course, but it, it's not my focus. Uh, you know, as long as Canada's playing well, hopefully I'm putting the ball in the back of the net. And it'll, it'll come when it comes. What does it mean to qualify for France and make sure you guys are going to be in the World Cup next summer? Yeah, I mean, it's massive for us. It was our, obviously our goal coming into this tournament, and it's, it's getting more and more difficult uh, qualifying out of CONCACAF. You see different teams making semifinals, you know, with Panama and uh, Jamaica making it. I mean, it's getting more and more difficult, and it never gets old, that's for sure. What can you say about the golden boot the top scorer right there, Adriana Leon, so far? No, I mean, she's been, she's been class. You know, she's, she's come in and made a difference in you know, every game that she's played in, and she's she's just one of those players that's, that's absolutely ruthless in front of goal. And uh, yeah, hopefully she can get a couple more in a couple days. And speaking of class, Diana Madison, 200 caps, she got an assist. Just speak about how, how much she brings to the team and how much everyone just loves her. Yeah, I mean, she's just such a leader on and off the field, and an example for everyone. Uh, you know, I told her today that she's just one of those players that just helped change this program. To what it is uh, today, um, but uh, yeah, she should have scored her breakaway. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> do, you, do you feel like, assuming the U.S. beats Jamaica, you would face them? Obviously, do you feel like there's some unfinished business giving Canada or you know, the game in London and then or England rather some of the other matchups you had? Is there some unfinished business between you guys? Yeah, I mean, the game in London happened six years ago in. I think there's only like three of us that were on the team from then. So, no, so much has changed. But I, I think yeah. anytime you get a chance to play the U.S., the okay. number one team in the world, and they're there for a reason, uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for us to, you know, test ourselves against the best. How does the team seem to be gelling under the new coach? Yeah, I think it's been going. I think it's been going great. Yeah. You know, uh, our first tournament uh, was at the Algar earlier in the year. It, you know, we definitely we're working some things out, but I think we're we're growing throughout this tournament, for example, and I think we're I think we're flying. What would you What would you say that the um, you know the, the character of this team is? What, what How would you characterize this team as their like their their trademark? Oh, I don't know. It's like a I think Canadians and this team has always been known as hard you know the hard working gritty team. But now we've added some flair, and some very dynamic younger players. Um, and then at the same time, we're, I know we're the hardest working team in terms of what we do off the field in, in preparation for, for games. So, I don't know, if you can get a word out of all that, that'd be great. <laughs> Christine, John was always passionate and enthusiastic about wanting to be in the U.S. That never happened as, with him as coach. Kenneth Hunter Mulder in the now. Is he as strongly indicating that you guys want to beat the U.S.? That you guys are going to do that? You know, I, I promise you we have not mentioned the Americans once uh, since this tournament started. Our goal coming in was to qualify. And like I said, you, you can't take it for granted. And so we'll see the result of this game. And if we have to prep for the Americans, we'll, we'll do that. But uh, yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't said one word about the U.S. Can you take anything away from those two matches in November against the States? Yeah, I think for sure. I mean, especially that game in BC place. I thought we dominated the game, and, and that was without you know some of our best players. So you know, we definitely have a lot more depth than we've had in the past, and I think that'll be the, you know, we're, what is it, the fifth game in less than two weeks. So I think, you know, both teams are going to have to show their depth. Especially we've all just put in a shift to qualify, so I mean to, to have a chance in the final to maybe beat them in the final, just to carry on top. Are you fit and fully healthy, ready to go Wednesday? Absolutely. Thank you. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so Sorry much. Sorry about your balloon. <laughs>